Asante kwa kuchagua ni Pashe Yulian Zale anansaidia kwenye matangazo haya kitumia lugha ya ishara. Serikali za kaunti huenda zikajipata kwenye njia panda kufuatia vuta ni kuvute baina ya seneti na bunge la kitaifa kuhusu mgao wa fedha za kaunti. Bunge la kitaifa limeondoa shilingi bilioni ishirini kutoka kwa mgao wa awali wa shilingi bilioni nne. Juhudi za kutafuta mstakabali ziligonga mwamba hii leo huku baadhi ya kaunti zikiendelea kupatwa na matatizo ya kulipa, mishahara na matumizi ya kila siku. Steven Leto na taarifa kamili. Ndindi nyoro na seneta Ali Roba wakiwa wenye kituenza wa mazungumzo ya leo walikumbana ana kwa ana na tofauti baina ya bunge la kitaifa na seneti. Me I was hoping because the tone that had been taken I have not finished. I have not finished. And you are in our chamber you should also allow us to to feel that we are playing from the home ground. This is a home ground. You allow honorable DK, we have honorable Veronica baada ya vuta ni kuvute mwenye kitu wa bajeti bunge la kitaifa alipasua mbarika na kuelezea kikao hicho kuwa kikapu cha umma kinazidi kushuhudia uhaba wa ushuru kuweza kustahimili bajeti yake baada ya mswada wa fedha wa mwaka 2024 kutupiliwa mbali one we have agreed county government needs more money that is not debatable we have agreed our community health promoters needs to be paid that is not debatable In fact, we should not be having arrears. We agree our county staff have not been paid for months. They must be paid. We agree on the funding of county government even with additional resources. We set that aside. We are not debating on that. If you remember in the previous financial year, the, account, the, the counties got about 385 billion. The proposal here is to give our counties 380 billion. Chair, this in a classical language would basically mean defunding counties i will be very open with you we don't trust you we don't trust members of the national assembly because we believe you have more information than us and you're not putting all the cards to the table i understand why this issue of the rmlf is very touchy to the members of the national assembly wa bunge na maseneta wakirushiana cheche za maneno huku bunge la kitaifa likishikilia kuwa hakuna mabadiliko yatafanyika huku seneti ikishikilia kuwa county lazima zipate mgao wao wa awali wa shilingi bilioni 400 officially the mediation has begun today we legally we have 30 days within which we need to agree or disagree but if it does not happen within the 30 days then this flops completely eh, ondora ukiwa na malumbano hayo county zinazidi kupata ugumu wa kulipa mishahara na marupurupu kwa wafanyikazi wake kulingana na afisi ya mwanasheria mkuu vuta ni kivute ikiendelea county zina haki ya kupokea hadi ya asilimia hamsini ya mgao wa fedha wa mwaka uliopita steven letoru ninga ya citizen nairobi Inspector General wa polisi Douglas Kanja sasa anasema watu 57 ndio walioripotiwa kutekwa nyara ama kupotea wakati na baada ya maandamano yaliyoongozwa na vijana tangu mwezi Juni mwaka huu. Akizungumza mbele ya kamati ya usalama wa bunge la kitaifa, Kanja amesema maafisa wa polisi hawakuhusika kwa vyovyote kwa utekaji nyara huo. Kama anavyotuarifu sasa Emmanuel Toro. Katika kikao hicho kilichotaka kubaini mbivu na mbichi kuhusu hali halisi ya usalama nchini haswa kuhusu ongezeko la visa vya utekaji nyara Inspector General wa polisi Douglas Kanja eleleza kamati ya usalama ya bunge la taifa kwamba visa na saba vya watu kutoweka vimeripotiwa tangu maandamano ya Gen Z kuanza mwezi Juni mwaka huu Kanja akieleza kwamba kati ya na saba hao watu sita walipatikana wakiwa wameuawa 29 hawajulikani waliko na 20 wawili wakipatikana wakiwa hai There were those who were captured by the various CCTV cameras around Nairobi and other major towns. But we could not afford to arrest them at that time. But we had the information, we had uh, everything, all the necessary details, and they were pursued later and they were brought before the court of law. Some reported cases of abduction and kidnappings were lawful, lawfully in police custody. Kanja kishikilia kwamba maafisa wa polisi ni weupe kama pamba katika tuhuma za kuwateka nyara ama kuwaua wa Kenya kiholela. Police don't kidnap anybody. No. We arrest. And it take to the court. If there is any report of kidnapping that is made to the police. The police 
have a duty and a responsibility to investigate. Hata hivyo wakuu hao wa polisi walieleza kwamba kuna baadhi ya maafisa wa polisi wanaochunguzwa kutokana na madai ya utekaji nyara. A kidnap that we could report because there was ransom that was demanded and it was involving a police officer. They abducted this person and put in a, a locked house in Kasaran and they demanded ransom 150 dollars. Makundi ya kijamii pamoja na mashirika ya kutetea haki za binadamu nchini yakiwemo KNCHR yameelekezea kidole cha lawama maafisa wa polisi kwa kuendelea kuwateka nyara wa Kenya makundi mengi yakiwemo ya mabalozi wakikashifu serikali ya Kenya kwanza kwa kuendeleza hulka hiyo Emmanuel Toru Ninga ya Citizen Nairobi Naibu Rais Kithure Kindiki ametoa hakikisho kuwa ataweka kipa umbele kwa juhudi za kuhakikisha umoja wa taifa katika uongozi wake huku akiahidi kuwa kamwe hata usika kuwagawanya wananchi kwa misingi ya kikabila. Matamshi yake yakionekana kukashifu uongozi wa mtangulizi wake Rigathi Gashagwa alibanduliwa kwa misingi ya kuendesha mgawanyiko. Aidha Kindiki alitetea utendakazi wake alipokuwa waziri wa salama wa kitaifa akijitenga na tuhuma za kuhusika na utekaji nyara wa wananchi. We should heal our divisions, solidify our national unity, and pursue our country's goals as brothers and sisters, joined by the permanent bonds of our common heritage and our common future. I have had occasion in the past few days to ponder on how the orderly transfer of authority as called for in as called for in our constitution takes place seamlessly in our country. I realize that my assent to the office of deputy president has taken place on the back of a hotly contested constitutional process. For weeks, the country was glued to parliamentary and judicial events whose completion is a testament or was a testament to our country's democratic credentials and the integrity of our constitutional institutions. Maafisa wanaochunguza mauaji ya mwanamke ambaye vipande vyake vya mwili vinaaminika kutambuliwa katika makaburi ya Langata wamemkamata dereva wa taxi anayedaiwa kumsafirisha mshukiwa mkuu. Polisi pia wamepata panga linaloaminika kutumika katika mauaji hayo pamoja na nguo za mwenda zake. Franklin Wala anaarifu zaidi. Katika makaburi ya Langata hapa Nairobi. Maafisa wa upelelezi kutoka kituo cha Langata na wa Nairobi area wakikusanya ushahidi eneo la mkasa. Vitu kadhaa alivyokuwa navyo Deka Abdenur vilipatikana kichakani karibu na kuliko patikana vipande vya mwili wa binadamu. Simu ya mshukiwa Hashim Dagane Muhammad ilipatikana eneo hilo pia. Vitu vingine ambavyo Deka alionekana navyo kwenye picha za CCTV vilipatikana hapa pia. Baadhi tu ya vitu ambavyo vimepatikana eneo hili ni nguo alizokuwa nazo mwenda zake wakati alitoweka. Wakati huo polisi wakamtia mbaroni dereva aliyekuwa na gari hili na ambalo anasemekana alikuwa dereva wa Hashim katika kipindi hicho kuanzia tarehe 24 mpaka tarehe 31 wakati Hashim alikuwa amehusika na mauaji ya watu kadhaa. Dereva huyo Jared Mongare alishikwa Eldoret na gari lake kupatikana ngara hapa Nairobi. Dereva aliyeshikwa ndiye aliyekuwa amepewa pesa na Hashim na alikuwa akilipa chumba hiki alichokuwa akiishi Hashim kwa niaba yake. Kwa siku saba dereva anaripotiwa kulipa shilingi na moja. Polisi wanataka kujua ni kwa nini alikubali kupewa pesa na mshukiwa na awe akimlipia chumba hicho kwa niaba yake wakati Hashim alikuwa anasakwa. Kando na nguo za deka kupatikana langata, wapelelezi pia wamepata panga inayodaiwa kuhusika kwa mauaji pamoja na vitu vingine vya msichana huyo. Panga lilikuwa limeoshwa. Vitu hivyo vilipatikana kwenye chumba cha mwenye Airbnb baada ya kuhama na kuhamisha vitu vyake kutoka chumba kuliko tokea mauaji. We are uh, requesting the police to give us justice since that uh, sister of ours have been murdered. Uh, very badly. 
Idara ya polisi imedhibitisha pia Hashim ni mzaliwa wa Ethiopia na amewahi husika na mauaji ya jamaa wake huko Ethiopia kabla ya kutorokea nchini. Anadaiwa kumua mkewe na wanawe watatu. This person had killed the three yeah, the, the mother, the daughter and the relative. And this lady the, the third one, the fourth one, Deka. Deka Abdinur alikuwa wa umri wa miaka 26 na alikuwa mwanafunzi wa chuo cha Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Aliwahi kuhudumu kwenye hoteli moja mtaani Isli kabla ya kutoweka. Franklin Wala, Runinga ya Citizen. Huko kitafakari hayo kwingine ni kwamba watainiwa watano wa mtihani wa KCSC katika shule opili ya wasichana ya Makande mjini Mombasa walazimika kufanya mtihani wa Kiswahili hospitalini baada ya gesi ya kupikia kuenea darasani walipokuwa wakijiandaa kufanya mtihani Waziri wa elimu Julius Migos aliyekuwa Mombasa alizuru shule hiyo Francis Mtalaki anaarifu zaidi kuhusiana na kisa hicho huku mtu mmoja akikamatwa kwenye jaribio la udanganyifu wa mtihani eneo la Muhoroni kaunti ya Kisumu saa moja na dakika 15 watahini wa walikuwa katika maandalizi ya mtihani wa Kiswahili gesi iliyokuwa ikitoka maeneo ya Makande ili eneo darasani na kusababisha wanafunzi wanane kuzimia papo hapo watatu wakitibua shuleni huku watano wakifikishwa hospitalini Makadara kwa matibabu they are now back uh, in school they have been uh, discharged and they have been given a clean bill of health the source of the smell has not been established the multi agency team that was called here has gone on to do investigations including within the surrounding industries that are around here to confirm how they discharge their effluent wataeniwa 79 walihamishwa hadi shule ya upili wa vulana ya makupa na kuendelea na mtihani wao kando na wataini wa hawa wa shule ya upili ya makande wakazi pia wamelalamikia mvuke huo wa gesi imetutatiza sana mtamzima watu wengi we, hata wakuweza wengine wametoka nje wakaanza kutapika watoto wakashindwa hata kupumua ndani ya majumba ikabidi tukae nje na huko nje tulivyokuwa tumetoka kwenda kuangalia tukakuta kule kule nje ndo harufu imezidi paka tuda hiyo harufu iko ikatupiga hiyo harufu mbaya sana kama ni kampuni hatujui ni kampuni gani itukuliwe hatua huku haya kijiri mtu mmoja ametiwa mbaroni katika jaribio lengine la udanganyifu huko Muhoroni kaunti ya Kisumu waziri Migos akiwaonya wale watakaopatikana kuwa chuma chao kimotoni tumeomba mahakama kwamba hizi makezi zote ambao zinahusika na maneno ya udanganyifu wa mitihani zifanywe kwa haraka ndio wale ambao wanapatikana na makosa waweze kupata their punishment uh, on time haya yanajiri huko mmoja wa walimu wakuu wa shule za msingi ya kifariki mapema hii leo baada ya kuanguka katika kifuko cha likoni alipokuwa kielekea kuhudhuria siku ya mwisho ya kongamano la walimu wakuu Francis Mtalaki Ringa Citizen Mombasa Kufanya mtihani wa kitaifa mara nyingi si kazi rahisi na huwa na changamoto zake kwa kila mwanafunzi. Hali pia haijakuwa rahisi kwa baadhi ya wanafunzi kama vile Terry, Char uh, Terry Charity ambaye amelazimika kufanya mtihani wake akiwa na mtungi wa gesi ya oksijeni ili kukabiliana na changamoto za afya kufanya mtihani wake wa kitaifa. Brenda Wanga anaarifu. Kila asubuhi Paul na Lucy huamka mapema ili kumwandaa binti yao kwa mtihani wake wa KCC. Terry Charity amekumbana na changamoto nyingi katika azma yake ya kukatakiwa ya elimu na haswa mtihani huu wa kitaifa. Inambidi kuhamisha vifaa vyake vya oksijeni kutoka nyumbani kwao eneo la Juja County ya Kiambu hadi shuleni King David Junior na kupelekwa kwenye chumba maalum cha mtihani. Safari ya Terry kwenye mtihani wa kitaifa haijakuwa rahisi. Msena huyu alipatwa na matatizo ya kiafya alipozaliwa ila amefanikiwa licha ya changamoto zake kutafuta elimu. Amekuwa na changamoto ya mwili hapa na pale. Tunaombeleka anatoka lakini sasa ameenda wakati amefika uh, kidajo cha cha form 3 aingie form 4 ndio alipatwa na shida na tukaombeleka hospitali. Teri hakusoma miezi ya Januari na Februari mwaka huu alipotoka hospitalini maisha yake yalikuwa yamebadilika na sasa anategemea gesi ya oksijeni kutoka kwenye tanki hili ili kuendeleza maisha yake. Kwa Kiswahili hasa mimi ndo ninamfunza Kiswahili amekuwa kijitahidi mno hata ni muongoni mwa wanafunzi ambao wanafanya vyema kwenye darasa hilo na ninamtarajia atafanya vyema pia. 
Sasa Charity yuko tayari kukamilisha mtihani yake kama tu wanafunzi wenzake licha ya matatizo ya kiafya na ya kifedha yanayotokana na hali yake. Because in the morning they have to go with her, they make her settle, ni wao wanajua zile mashini hizo mashini venye ziko zinakonektiwa. And in the evening wanakuja wana disconnect machine themselves and then go with her. So it's quite a hassle and it is very very expensive to maintain her. Licha changamoto hizo Lucy na Paul wanashikilia kuwa wataendelea kujitolea kwa mtoto wao wa kipekee kwa matumaini kwamba mtihani hii itafungua milango kwa maisha yake bora katika siku zijazo. Brenda Wanga Runinga ya yes, Citizen. Taarifa hii ya kutia motisha inatukamilishia awamu yetu ya kwanza hapa kwenye nipashi lakini usiondoke hapo ulipo tunarejea hivi punde na taarifa zaidi. Kwa ushindi wa Mkenya Hulda Moramo manyi kwenye uchaguzi wa Jimbo la Minnesota nchini Marekani katika kijiji cha Nyamemiso kaunti ya Nyamira alikozaliwa Mora jamaa na majirani wameelezea furaha yao kwa ushindi wake. Chris Pinotieno alitangamana na baadhi wa kijiji na hii hapa taarifa yake moja baada ya Hulda Moramo Manyi Hitsley kuchaguliwa kuwa mwakilishi rasmi wa Jimbo la Minnesota nchini Marekani baada ya matokeo rasmi kutangazwa <tos> wenyeji wa kijiji cha Nyamemiso Nyaribari Masaba kaunti ya Nyamira hawakuachwa nyuma <tos> Hapa ndipo walipotokea Hulda Mura. Katika boma la Shangazie na nyanyake Hulda, furaha ilikuwa dhahiri. Tulikuwa na yeye huko Minnesota ni mchukuu wangu. Tulikaa na yeye sana. Niko na furaha sana kwa uongozi wake, fikra mchukuu uongozi. Niko na furaha sana sana sana. Picha hizi tulizopata zikionyesha jinsi Hulda Mura alivyokuwa kijijini licha ya kutopata nafasi enzi hizo kuvaa hata kiatu historia aliyoiweka Marekani ikiwa ya kupigiwa mfano hata akiwa mdogo kutoka hapa nyuma amekuwa akipeana fiakura katika shule na anaangalia masile ya maskini na anatetea wanyonge hiyo jina Clement Momanyi ni papu wa Hulda wakati papa yake alikufa na mimi nilisaliwa nikapa nikapewa hiyo chini Clement Mumanyi. Huyu mtoto tangu asaliwe achakaa hapa sana hadi saliwa akiwa amefikisha about 9 years akaondoka hapa kaenda America. Kabla ya kuhamia Marekani, Hulda alisomea shule ya chekechea ya Kisii. Kwa wenyeji, matumaini yao ni kwamba watapata fursa ya kuhudhuria hafla ya kuapishwa kwake. Atasaidia hata kule kwa hata hata Kisii hata keroka hata wote tuko na furaha tutaenda huko wakati ya kiendelea kazi nimesema asante viongozi kutoka Kisii na Nyamira pia wamekuwa wakituma jumbe za heri njema kwake mwanadada huyo na mwananchi kutoka matabaka mbalimbali wanazidi kumiminika katika kijiji hiki cha Nyamemiso kama njia moja wapo ya kujua chimbuko lake Hulda Momanyi wengi wakisema kwamba hatua yake kuchaguliwa kama kiongozi katika taifa la Marekani ni kutokana na maadili mema alionyesha akiwa mchanga Crispino Tieno Runinga ya Citizen kijiji cha Nyamemiso kaunti ya Nyamira Kituo cha radio cha Chamge Chamge FM kikishirikiana na serikali ya kaunti ya Kericho leo kiliwapa wakazi na mashabik fursa ya kusherekea utamaduni wa jamii ya Kipsigis. Hafla hiyo iliyoandaliwa katika uwanja wa michezo wa Kericho Green utafanyika kwa siku tatu. Sherehe hizo za kitamaduni zilivutia makundi tofauti ya kitamaduni kutoka eneo la bonde la Ufa na lengo kuu ni kuimarisha utamaduni wa wenyeji pamoja na mshikamano ambao unadaiwa kufifia. Sherehe hiyo imeipa fursa Chamge FM pia kupitia watangazaji wake kujumuika na wananchi kwa kuwapa burudani na mo, la moja kwa moja huku wasimamizi wakiahidi kuendeleza uwasilishaji wa vipindi murwa. Chamge FM ni moja ya vituo vinavyomilikiwa na kampuni ya Royal Media Services. Station nambari moja hapa Rift Valley na tuko kipaumbele kuhakikisha kwamba utamaduni wetu wa Kipsikis na wa Kalenjin kwa chumla imeimarishwa. Nimefurahi sana kujifunza mambo ya lugha, mambo, mambo yetu ya kidamatuni ya zamani. Unajua siku hizi watoto sasa wajui hata hii kitu inaitwa nini? Wanajua hii ya kwinja. Sasa hii hii 
ukiweka maziwa hii tukiwekewa maziwa hii ama ukiwekewa mzee maziwa hii maziwa yake ni tamu inashinda hata ile ya supermarket hapa kericho tumekuja kitamaduni na hapa venye niko mkiniangalia kuna ile kibuyu ile tunaita sotet kwa kipsikis hii ni maziwa ilikuwa inawekwa maziwa na kuonyeshana yale mambo ya samani na tujawaachilia hata kama wazee wamekuja hivyo hivyo sisi tunashikilia vile If what I hear is true, your sons used to bully Nicholas. Yes, but now they're all friends. Not that I totally agree with that. Do you think Nicholas is not a good friend for your boys to have? Mwenza yu lanzale na sema usiku mwema. Kwa heri.